guys okay so I haven't filmed a video in like years um, but I don't know I felt inspired lately because we've all got a lot of free time and we're watching a whole lot of YouTube videos I asked on Instagram and a lot and all of my friends said yes that they wanted to see a haul of the beauty items that I've gotten while in quarantine so let's dive in little disclaimer my birthday was right before this i had gift cards burning holes in my pockets i had ulta points i did a little bit of damage i am who i am so let's start i kind of have it like separated into like different little groups probably the first thing i bought was the ola hendrickson um this is his dark spot toner i was using the strivectin glow toner for the longest um, and I love it but I don't really love the price it's like $40 so I've been trying to find something a little less expensive I like this one more the strivectin left my face veiling oily which was fine because I, I use it at night so you know it just it was like hydrate it wasn't that big of a deal but this it's like my skin soaks it up and it just feels fresher I don't know but since I'm using a toner that has AHAs in it, I've been on like a sunscreen kick. Um, I mentioned on Instagram that I have bought Sephora's um, Sun Kit, which is a full size. Um, also, I don't really edit my videos, so all of this is going to stay in. Um, a full size sunscreen and then a whole bunch of samples and the, the value is just insane. The full size was the Dennis Gross um, dark spot sunscreen. It broke me out. So I went on a quest through all the little minis and I found a couple that I really like. So I got the full size of the Unseen sunscreen. Um, it's SPF 40. It's, you know, it's, it's a clean chemical sunscreen, but I love this. I got this one for under makeup because it has that slip. It has that like dimethicone feel to it. So it kind of fills in pores um, and it's a really great base for makeup. And then I also got um, this one for when I don't want to wear any makeup. So this is the Drunk Elephant. Um, this is the his tented, his, her tented sunscreen. Um, a lot of Drunk Elephant products break me out and I think it's something like brand wise that they use that breaks me out. Lancome does the same thing for the most part. It's just something in their formulas that my skin doesn't like. But this one doesn't. It has a slight tint. It goes on like a lotion. It soaks right in. So on no makeup days, it's just going to kind of even me out while providing me like some protection because the amount of AHAs I use between my toners and my peels and my masks, I, can't, I just can't get away with not wearing sunscreen. Um, my skin will immediately like burn. So then the last SPF thing I got was this. This is the Kula Makeup Setting Spray, but it's an SPF and it feels lightweight. The spray is beautiful. Um, I just think this is a really cool thing for like, if I'm about to like run out the door and I'm like, oh my God, I don't have time to smear something on my face. Just spray, 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 get a little bit of protection, but also um, over top of makeup for like, just to feel extra protection even though I don't think all of my foundations have SPF in them, so I don't think I'm getting like the added benefit of like building them, but in my mind, it makes me feel better. Okay. Okay, so I've only gotten a couple um, like skin products. <sighs> Why am I out of breath? Okay, so I got the Estee Lauder, the Futurist Hydra makeup. I sampled this at work before we were in lockdown, and I can't even describe to you, that's what I have on today. All of these products, I tried to wear them today. I can't describe this to you. It's fantastic coverage, but the formula is so thin. It's beautiful. I set everything with powder because I'm just like a full cake bitch. Uh, sorry, mom. Um, but I just, it's, I can't describe it. I love it with a brush. I love it with a sponge. I've smeared this in with my fingers and it spread beautifully. I, I can't describe, it's insane. SPF 45, beautiful, lightweight. I have a full cake on. I don't feel like I have a full cake on. Um, beautiful. Then I have the YSL All Hours um, Concealer. I have the foundation. It's my Holy Grail foundation in the summer when I'm oily. I can't really get away with it right now. Um, but uh, so I got this. I like it. It does the job. But for the price, I don't think it does any more than like my Maybelline Fit Me concealer. So would I repurchase? No. 
but it's like a nice little treat. The formula is beautiful if you've got like money to blow and you want to treat yourself to something nice. Also, I did my own nails because I had gotten a manicure for my birthday and it was the best manicure I've ever gotten in my life. It lasted seven weeks. The grow out was insane, but it lasted seven weeks and it just got to the point where I was like, these are too long. I, I got to take them off. So I took them off. These are Kiss Nails, um, just from like CVS when I went to pick up my prescription. I did a little, um, did my usual little like blood splatter on them. So we'll see how long they go. We're on like day three. Um, so not bad. I miss getting a manicure, but like, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So one thing I got um, that I'm actually gonna return is a melt blush. Um, I'm not I'm not very adventurous when it comes to like blush and bronzer. I'm pretty like if it works I stick to it. Um, I'm not always trying to find something new. I have one blush, so I was like, you know what? Let me get another blush. Um, and I wanted like a berry blush. So this is Fire Fury. The color's beautiful. Kind of matches my top, which was also a quarantine buy. Um, it's not blendable. I tried it on top of this foundation. I tried it on top of a matte foundation, um, the YSL All Hours. I, I, I can't blend it. You dip in with the tiniest bit, you go to blend it, and all it does is leave a burgundy dot on your face. I was going to keep it because I love wearing these kind of colors um, on my eyes, but it's just seems it's just kind of a waste. So when stores open back up, um, that's going to go back because it's just, I didn't love it. Um, let's do lips. So... I've been on a quest to find um, cheap lip liners. My skincare is expensive. My foundations are always expensive. I try to budget when it comes to eyeliners, mascaras, um, lip products, just because I have to balance it out. I, I can't afford myself. <laughs> so I found dupes for my favorite MAC and Makeup Forever um, lip pencils from NYX. I'm wearing one today over top uh, or underneath of a lipstick. The one I'm wearing today is Soft Spoken. I would, all of these are in the realm of like when Kylie Jenner first came out with her lip kits and it was like the perfect mauve lip. That's my perfect like nude. Um, because two nude washes me out. Two brown just looks janky on my face. So I have Soft Spoken. I have Mahogany, which is like a darker brown because I like to go a little deeper sometimes. <laughs> That's what he said. Um, sorry, mom. Uh, mauve, which is again like a traditional Kylie. And then I got two lips from YSL. Essential. So I, my all-time favorite lip color is Anastasia, her liquid lip in Veronica. It's a mauvey brown with like a lilac tint, but it's so flattering. It's literally, I wear it all the time. It's like my perfect lip. So YSL had a dupe for it and I said, you know what, I'm gonna treat myself because I'm gonna get my name on it. <sighs> I'm an idiot. So this is the, um, like the velvet matte. Oh, she's a beauty guru. It's like a velvet matte. It's nice because it doesn't completely dry down, but I definitely will keep that in mind because I'm used to wearing, you know, lipsticks that don't schmear. Um, today I have on um, Anastasia Allison, which is also a really, really good nude. This is just like, if you don't know what I'm wearing, it's either Allison or Veronica for the most part. Then I got a YSL gloss. I, I hate myself. Um, this one is, it says it's the Night Rehab Lip Mask. I thought it was a gloss. It's basically just like a tinted pink gloss. It smells like mango. Delicious. Um, unnecessary. Um, so then I, let's, go, let's do eyes. I also haven't done this in a while. I'm stuttering. I'm not editing things out. I'm wearing lashes for probably maybe only the sixth time in my life. So if this is horrendous, I'm sorry that I'm not sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I got uh, two eyeliners. These were $1.99. They're LA Girl. I've been wanting like a really pretty teal. And um, I, I love like navy blue, navy blue on top. Ugh. So I got these. 
They are pencils. They're traditional, you have to sharpen them. They're a little bit rough. The way that I work with these is I warm it up a little bit on my hand and then I go in and then they're smooth. But these things last and they don't irritate my eyes, which is a plus. I got um, the Sephora. Um, I haven't opened this yet because I was still using my tweezers. Um, it's just a lash applicator. It's pretty, it's rose gold. I obviously needed to use my Sephora 20% for like a $10 eyelash applicator. Anyway, I got two mascaras. Um, because I try to go cheap on my mascaras too. Um, and I like a lot of drugstore mascaras. For me, I've got a pretty good lash, so just like building up my mascara is gonna do the same thing for me as falsies. Although looking in the viewfinder, I am <laughs> enjoying this. Um, my girlfriend Siani came out with lashes. They sold out in a day, but when they come back, I'm gonna be wearing Carmen and mm, I can't, I can't. Anyway, um, Maybelline the Falsies. I like anything in the Falsies range. I can make any of them work. Um, but I like the brush on this one because um, it's like rubber bristled and I really can kind of like get into every lash. And then I got the L'Oreal Bambi Eye Mascara. I haven't met a L'Oreal mascara that I didn't like, honestly. It's got a, it's also got a rubber brush, but it's a bit, um, I don't remember how to do this. <laughs> Um, it's a little bit fluffier. I build mascaras. I put one on first and then I'll put a different one on top. It doesn't really matter, but for me, two different formulas just help give me that floof, you know? Um, I think that's it. Oh, not shown. I, so if you follow me on Instagram or anything and you, and you see me with like navy blue on my eye at all anywhere, it is always the Stila, um, shimmer in Vivid Sapphire. I went through a whole tube of that and I don't, I'm not someone who goes through makeup and repurchase it unless it's like Holy Grail foundations, things like that. Like, I, for me to pay $24 and then pay $24 again, I did. And I just got it in the mail. Forgot to bring it over here and I'm too lazy to get out. But it's just, I, I haven't met anything like it. I haven't found a dupe for it. And like, my girlfriend Sherry at work, one day we were at work and I wanted to do, we were bored. So we were playing with testers and she was like, put that blue on your eye. And I put it on and I have never looked back. If you ever see me with navy blue on my eye, it is the Stila glitter or Stila shimmer glitter in Vivid Sapphire. And I just, I should have worn it today, honestly. But I was already, I was fussing with my lashes because I, mm, mm. Okay, so let me know if you would like to see another video on all the stuff that I bought during quarantine that isn't beauty related, like sandals that I can't wear because my toes are ratchet because I can't get a pedicure, or dresses that I bought just to wear to the mailbox. I bought a whole bunch of new workout stuff because I literally broke a sweat while getting into my leggings today. Bye!